what up guys today we're going over the soul survivors 10 mm best friend mod so this will be right at the vault as soon as you get out of the vault what you want to go over to do is uh, you'll see this chest right here that is uh, locked what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to jump up here go inside you'll find a paper clip to whoever find my body you found the key to my chest which is under the building it contains my custom Tim M pistol I have named her my best friend she is now yours please treat her well note you can mod and build versions up to version 9 once you have the appropriate skills and material you can you can make either the Tim mm VMF or the 12.7 mm VMF um, the VMF series guns uses non-standard ammo which can be crafted at a Kim station October 26, 27, seven, uh, 20, 000, 000, 000, however you want to pronounce it. My name is Kevin. I've been trapped in the shack for days. There's some kind of blast wave that came from the south. It knocked me out and threw me against the wall and broke my leg. It looks like I'm the only one that made it. Made it. Uh, quotations. Ha, that's a laugh. I somehow am still alive and breathing barely. I guess that means I must rely on someone finding me. If I am to survive. If I don't make it, then my belongings will be fair game for scabbers. Before the blast, I was setting up a sweet little camping spot underneath the shack in hopes of the military moving out one day. I've been homeless for about two years now, and this place was the only one I wasn't kicked out of in the last weeks before the blast. As a trained gunsmith, I was setting up a small business to make custom guns. But now, not seeing other a, another person for a while, it feels pointless to do so. So I've spent my time since the blast working on my only gun, and I have made some modifications to it, in the hope that it will help me survive as I heal. In the early days of development, I was contacted by the military to design them a new personal sidearm for their officers because of the un <laughs> un uniqueness. Sorry, I had to have braces on. Of the uniqueness of this weapon, it was confiscated by the BHDTFL Bureau of Alcohol, Drugs, Tobacco, Firearms, and Lasers. Before I could turn it in over to the military, they are holding it until I can provide proof of ownership and reclaim it. Please, if you find this note, need I need help. I want someone to go to the BADTF and recover my items. P.S. I have made several versions of this weapon. As your skill increases, you'll be able to revisit my chest and find new versions that are more powerful, more useful, and more powerful. So practice a lot, then come back to visit me if you have been able to get my chest back. PPS, the gunslingers out there with a knack for crafting can create their own version what weapon at the chimp station. The higher rank is a gunslinger and gun nut, the better weapon you can craft from an existing model. Note, you must have some knowledge of guns to use it properly. The better you are at being a gunslinger, the better it, it will serve you. The better you are as a gun nut, the better the gun will be. And you get the keys, and we're going to check out the Soul Survivor. My best friend, V1, Soul Survivor's custom XL. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack variant. And it looks like it's got fusion cores, all that. So we're going to take it and we're going to test it out. I don't think I'm going to go out and start killing things. That is not the custom that I need. So we're going to go down here and find it real quick. Um, There we go. My best friend version 1 pistol. It looks like it's got, uh, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, my game is up a little bit, so I can't tell you the damage, but uh, compared to the custom Tim MM that does 68 damage, and this doing 625, you can kind of tell it's going to be a, uh, a lot of damage. I think, what is it, my two-shot Lone Wolf does 250. That means this does 625. That means it is over it even with the two shots so this could literally take out anything in its path and up to a lot of things man 
625 that's gonna be crazy to do so I will be right back I'm gonna go find an enemy and we're gonna go test it out so I hope you guys do enjoy the video so well, we found some enemies these are tribal warriors and all that with the mod I've installed I've done a video over that so we're gonna test this out it looks like an insta kill let's see here yep it is an insta kill so so we pretty much took out four enemies and that was pretty crazy to see how it was you know it, it's basically insta kill it is literally insta kill so that's pretty good if you want a very overpowered gun but if you don't really want an overpowered gun then uh, it wouldn't be for you so I hope you guys do enjoy this mod and I hope you can see, you know, this mod is pretty good. I like it. Not for the overpowered pistol, but more of the aspects. They actually did a storyline behind it. And I hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.